Okay, here's how you're going to go about creating your Move Note screencast. First, you're going to go to Move Note, and you're going to need to create an account there. I'd suggest using your same Google address that you use for your school uh, Google Drive because that's what it'll, it'll connect to when you want to import your work. Because we're going to movenote.com and we want to get a MoveNote account. So when you sign up for free, I'm using my regular name and my Gmail that I always use. Um, I'm going to use my same password so that it's easy for me to remember. And create account. Okay, there's a step here where you have to confirm that this is actually your uh, that this is actually your email. So it says registration successful. Check your email and click on the activation link. So I've got to go into my Gmail and go ahead and um, click the link from that email. So I'm going to do that now, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the email that I got from MoveNote uh, confirming my activation. So I'm just going to click on this link. And once I've clicked on the activation link in my email, I return to my sign-in page where I should be able to use the sign-in that I've just created. And I'm using my Gmail address to log in, same password that I used before, um, and sign in. Okay, it looks like I have to accept terms of service. Okay, now here's the tricky part. I'm going to continue into MoveNote, and I've got to accept some settings with my microphone and the camera to be able to move forward. It doesn't work super well in the Chromebooks to, lo to load this page. Um, on my page, I can click this. On the Chromebook, you won't see this on this page, and you've got to say continue. And it'll ask you, are you sure you want to go forward? And you say okay. When you get to this page, this shook us a while to figure out. You have to say close over here, then say that you want to allow the camera and the microphone. There might be a pop-up. This one worked for me. There might be a pop-up on your Chromebook up here in this area where you have to say allow again before you can use the camera. But once it's working, you should be able to see yourself looking really good like I do right here. Once you've got that set up, then everything else is pretty easy. So you're going to go over here to add slides. Click that. And because I've linked it to my Gmail, oh, I haven't. I've got to go back over here. So I'm going to settings. I need to link this to my Gmail. So I've got to connect this with my Gmail address. If you log in with your Google address the first time, um, or you log in through Google, this will work better. So I'm going to accept that MoveNote can do this. Okay, so now you can see that I've connected to Google. Again, if when I create my um, account, I say I log in through, um, instead of Facebook, through Google, I wouldn't have to do that. So I can close this. Okay, now I'm going to go back to create new. And I want to import that presentation. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and import my presentation from Google Drive. So I click Add Slide. Now it gives me the option to go to my Google Drive. So this is the Google account that I just connected. And I'm going to go ahead and choose my Sample Conflict and Climax Final Presentation. If you need to, you can type in the title here to search. Um, and you're looking for a yellow presentation that you can import. Now it's working on loading that import. Okay, so you can see that it's loading four and now all five of my five slides. If you've got more than five slides, they'll all be here. Um, and so to click through your presentation, you can click the arrows. And those move you through the slides that you've created. Your job now is to record the narration for each of these slides to explain how you've designed your tableau and the rationale for why you chose that particular event as the exposition or the rising action or the climax. So when you're ready to record, you're going to have the person who's narrating sit where I'm sitting, again, looking really good, and to exceed the standard you need to have each person from your group narrate at least one slide. I'm ready to record now, and so I'm going to go over here and click on the red start video recording button and I'm going to go ahead and start. So I would click forward and say, here we go. Welcome to our presentation on Romeo vs. Self in Act 3, Scene 3. And then you'll notice I paused the recording, so I've only done six seconds, I paused it. And that would give me time to flip to the next slide, to read over my script, to switch speakers here if you wanted to have somebody else narrate. So I'm going to click forward a slide. Then I'm going to get ready to record again. And if I had another computer open so that I could look at the script that I'd recorded, I could just go ahead and read my explanation. I don't have that now, so I'm going to do it from memory. In this first scene, which is the exposition of the conflict, Romeo confronts his new identity as a murderer um, and, and is shocked and, and almost stands away from the friar in, because he's so appalled that he's committed this action. 
the friar tries to calm him down in, in blue on the right, tries to calm him down by telling him that the prince has only decided to banish him, so tries to calm him down. However, it doesn't work, and the conflict escalates into scene two. Okay, and then I'm going to pause the recording, and I would click to the next slide, forward, and do the same process again. When you're done recording your uh, move note, you're going to click over here on done, this blue check mark. Okay, and you'll notice you've got to wait here until the, um, until the video is converted. You have to wait until it uploads. When I tested this, it took about 50 seconds to upload a three minute one, so it was pretty manageable. When it's done, you'll have a presentation that has your slides and has the video. And you can test it to see what it looks like by clicking this Welcome play. Welcome to our presentation on Romeo vs. Self in Act 3 scene. So it looks like it worked. If you're happy with the way it worked, you're going to go ahead and copy this link to the clipboard and then email it to me. And that's how you turn in your group's presentation. If you're not thrilled with it, you can go back and try again and record the whole thing. This needs to be done and turned in um, to exceed the standard by the end of the day next Tuesday. I hope that helps you get started. Please let me know if you have other questions.